Well, did you know this? Today, it's the 160th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. So today, the Gettysburg Foundation hosting its annual dedication day ceremony to commemorate the anniversary. But this year, some changes. CBS 21 News' Maxine Rose was in Gettysburg today and joins us now with some more. Now, the ceremony would have happened right behind me here at this red rostrum. It's right by the place where Lincoln gave his historic speech, and it's also the spot where they've held the event for many years. But due to the threat of a government shutdown earlier this week, for the first time in 16 years, the event happening at a local theater. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. About 800 people filling Gettysburg College's majestic theater today. An unusual spot to remember Lincoln's dedication of the Soldiers National Cemetery. To be in the place at the time, I think that does matter. I think that's, um, that's an important marker. We're a historic theater in a historic town that often finds ourselves at the crossroads of history as it's being made here in Gettysburg. The Lincoln Fellowship of Pennsylvania working with Gettysburg College, Gettysburg National Military Park, and Gettysburg Foundation to make it happen. A dedication still ringing true. It's best to uh, move forward where and how we can, even if it's in a modified fashion. There at the celebration today, a number of scholars, leaders, and even performers sharing messages of unity. The country is deeply divided, and it's, it's very obvious that uh, this is exactly what Lincoln is talking about. And I think it's very important to make sure that the young people have a good um, grasp of the importance of our history. Keynote speaker and Dwight D. Eisenhower's granddaughter, Susan Eisenhower, stepping onto the stage on the 60th anniversary of her grandfather's homage to Lincoln's address. There was an enormous amount at stake. There's still a lot at stake today, but we have an obligation to those who perished here. Uh, to to move forward and to be better Americans than we even think we can be. Her speech, a favorite among the crowd, teaching many like Gabriel Ulrich an important lesson. Our country matters. In Gettysburg, Maxine Rose, CBS 21 News. I mean, how cool is that? So much history right in our backyard.